All right, so here I have my my angry elemental water symbol, the water kind of slapping down this swimmer. And so I was debating. I built this head out of a perfect circle that then I cut out of, which looked a little bit more um, iconic like the swimming logos of the past. Um, but am I losing something if I don't use kind of that smooth style through with the thick and thin? So these are things that happen, and that's why logo designers often do a lot of versions. So often what I will, will do is I will take a layer like that and double-click it and dim the image. and then overlay this one. And the dimming didn't do a whole lot in this case. Just so I can position it correctly. It's nice that it gives me the, um, the highlight of the green as well. So let's hook it up and position it so it has the same kind of negative space opening like that. And then let's turn it off. And yeah, that reads kind of nicely as an eye at the same time as getting swooped. And then if I decide I want just to curve it around a little more, I have complete control with the small selection tool. All I have to do is add an anchor point. It's good. I get to show you where to add an anchor point. And just like you can delete them, you can add them. And then I can use the small selection tool and pull that anchor point out and work on that curve to kind of bring that shape around. And then I can even use the smooth tool to push that curve around a little bit. Yeah, so maybe I'm liking that a little bit more. Now, if I want to bring that in to this shape, all as one shape, I can use the Pathfinder and do that, but I don't want to do it yet. I'll do that at the end. So now if I'm committed to that, let's just say I am, I'm going to lock that layer, and I'm going to work on this layer and smooth this out. So I'll start with the Pencil tool. Try to draw through this pretty cleanly. That's nice. And then through these. That was sloppy. So this is where sometimes you get into all of these um, overlaps and where I really have to use the delete anchor tool to have it make sense again. <laughs> all right, and that's what I want, just basic two corners coming together. Now, if I want that to be a little bit more interesting, I can go in with the pencil tool, draw through the anchors, and try to connect them. But in order to do that, I'm gonna to have to add an anchor point to have something a little bit closer. Like that. And that will allow me to do even a little bit of a pinch there. And I like that, but I need to bring it a little bit closer so it still reads as a person if I if people want to read it that way. So about like that, and then like this, and then like this. We're getting there. So lots of little tweaks. Like using an X-Acto knife in a design class. And that small selection tool to your best friend. And that pencil tool for redrawing. I think I want that to be a pretty tight point.
And I'm just going to delete some anchors to help get me there. You're going for kind of a clean design. The fewer anchors, the better. The smooth tool can help you with that as well. But it really depends what you're going for. All right. I'm really liking this shallow curve on the bottom. So I want to emphasize that. And it's all kind of one even curve from here to here. And I want a similar feeling up here. So I'm going to get rid of some of these anchor points. And then just try to control it with the handles. Okay, last thing, the top line here. So that transition's a little weird. So this is all really just fine tuning. So the eye movement is doing what I want. Yeah. Okay, now this swish underneath. You know, I'm going to tighten maybe this up a bit. Move all these anchors up a tiny bit. Make that curve more pronounced, not that. And remember, you can always hit Command Z and just redo. So don't be afraid to take some chances with it. That's how we learn. All right, so I like that curve better, but I need to smooth it. Feels more intentional. Strong decisions are better than timid decisions. What is going on here? It's an anchor I can delete. We just have, yeah, really long handles. That makes sense. All right. Yeah. Okay, so this little swoosh. I'm wondering if I can get away with making it kind of a curve like, like this. In fact, I'm curious. Oh, it's a weird format. That's right. Here, I'm going to open it up in preview, make a little copy of it. <laughs> copy it. Try pasting it in. There we go. So you can paste in little rasterized things that you might want to use. This is a mashup, so I'm going to mash this in. Oh, actually, let's see. Try something out. I took that, and I'm going to live trace just that. By clicking on it, I'm in Essentials Classic. So I see all these things. And then I'm going to do black and white logo just to get me started. But then I need to say under my settings here, under advanced, ignore white. And then I want to play with, basically I want to leave it where it is, say expand. And I'll make sure it's cleaned up. Then I want to get rid of this one. <laughs> 
yeah, that's going to work. And now I'm going to play with this new element. Right? Using the large selection tool, I can stretch it a little bit longer. And I can smooth it using the small selection tool to see the anchors. And connect it where it's not that smooth. Okay, now this little hook, there's something about it. It's not too bad. So I have to decide, do I want to maybe actually use it? Do I want to separate it? Do I want it out at the tile? Yeah, I don't think I want it. All right, so I'm going to delete it. And then that shows me I just need to tighten up this point. And then I'm done. But sometimes little things like this can take you a lot longer than you think. Because I don't want to lose all the complexity of it. I'm trying to work between these two points just a slightly different way. All right, I think the best way to do it is to use my small selection tool and just back this up and then play with this curve. Oh, no. Play with it just right, though. It doesn't kill yep, that nice curve I have. All right. We are close. Remember, you can work on curves from both ends. And now I'm just going to use the smooth tool. Hit the top of it, hit the bottom of it. Ah. Let's move this one a little bit. This is me being a picky art director. best type of archer. Yeah, so to me, honestly, the hardest thing in Illustrator is just knowing what you want. But once you have a clear vision, then you can work towards it. And then you need enough patience and experience with the tools to work with it without losing your cool. Because it's so persnickety. All right, that feels good. Okay, now to finish it off, to be a usable logo. Yeah, I like it. I might clean this up a little. Even though I stole it from somewhere, it can always be improved. Tighten it up at this corner. What we need to do is we need to uh, make sure all the overlapping shapes are combined. And the only overlapping shape I have is the head. There we go. This overlapping with this. So I go to my layers. Again, an organizational tool. I'm going to put them up here. And I'm going to unlock that head. And I'm going to select it, holding down shift, with the bottom here. All the ones that aren't locked. And then I'm going to use the pathfinder, which is actually this tool here. Oh, no. This, ah. I thought it was one of those. I usually put it in there. So go to window, pathfinder. Then I'm going to move it into there because I use it a lot this tool, and then I'm going to merge them together. So they're all one shape now. And now everything is a nice rational shape. I'm going to unlock everything, make sure that when I select everything, I'm going to delete the layers I don't need, drag them to the trash, 